Hi, good morning. I'm Afiyana, and this is your energizing yoga class, your rise and shine yoga class. Uh, basically, today we are going to focus on energizing poses and practices to energize the body, mind, and spirit. I suggest that you start off today in a comfortable seated position um, known as Sukhasana with one leg folded in front of the other. Uh, depending on your hip tightness, you might choose to uh, put one leg in front of the other, depending on what feels better. Um, finding a comfortable connection with your set bones, you might reach back and grab some of the fleshy part of the buttocks so that you can feel the connection of the sit bones on the floor. I invite you to roll your shoulders up and down and back, creating some space in the front of the heart and the front of the chest. And we'll start with a beautiful breath practice and meditation practice known as box breathing to center the body and the mind as we move into a moving meditation today. So you'll begin, if it's comfortable for you, by closing your eyes or keeping a soft gaze at the tip of your nose with the eyes just gently closed. Inhaling in through the nose to the count of four. In to the bottom, center, and top of the lungs. Then retaining the breath for the count of four. Counting silently to yourself. And then exhaling out. You could even blow out a candle if you're feeling extra tension today releasing the breath to the count of four and then retain that exhalation for the count of four and that is the box breathing so just gently opening up your eyes for an experience of this you want to think about it as a box so you're inhaling in two three four the breath comes up retaining the breath coming across the top of the box Exhaling, two, three, four, and then retaining the exhale, two, three, four, across the bottom of the box. If you're a visual person, sometimes when the mind is busy, it's really nice to give the mind something to do in the form of a visualization. So let's return to the breath. So inhaling in through the bottom of the lungs, Expanding the middle of the lungs, the top of the lungs, inhaling through the nose. Retaining the breath for four, three, two, one. And exhaling the breath. Out the mouth, you blow out the birthday candle. Two, three, four. Retaining the breath. Two, three, four. And we'll do this one more time, inhaling, two, three, four. Retain the breath, two, three, four. Exhaling, releasing all of the breath, all, anything that's not serving you. And retaining that focus in the body, retaining the breath, two, three, or on the bottom. And slowly opening up the eyes, you might place the hands in front of the heart in a prayer pose and placing the chin down towards the chest, breathing into the back of the neck, elongating the back of the neck. We'll begin by bringing the chin up towards the sky and the chin down towards the chest creating some freedom and some space in the neck. It's been a busy year, busy life. So just really uh, using this time and this focus to bring in some spaciousness, inviting the breath and the meditation of the breath to fill up the body as the head comes down, chin towards chest, and the chin comes up towards the sky. And then bringing the right ear to the right shoulder, breathing into the space of the left side of the neck. 
and then bringing left ear to left shoulder, finding that spaciousness as you draw the right shoulder down and elongate through the right side of the ear. And can you return to that count, that four count breath that we started with in the beginning of the class as the right ear moves to the right shoulder, opening up space on the left side of the neck. And inviting the meditation of the left ear moving to the left shoulder very gently and creating spaciousness in the right side of the ear, right side of the neck. Inhaling the arms up above the head as the head comes back to neutral. Lay, interlacing the fingers above the head. So palms, palms are facing up towards the ceiling. Inhaling, reaching up towards the sky, grounding through the sit bones. And exhale, seeing if you can squeeze the hands back towards the ears. Squeeze the sides of the ears with the sides of the arm. And at the same time, rotating the shoulders up, down, and back, and creating some spaciousness in the back of the body while the front of the body opens up. Exhale, releasing the hands gently out to the sides. You're gonna reach over and grab a hold of the left ear and pressing the left hand into the floor, gently just inviting the right ear to come towards the right shoulder. Taking that inhalation, creating that spaciousness. The fingertips of the left hand are pressed into the floor. You might find just even a micro bend in the elbow or if it's too much to bring your hand to the floor, you can even bring your fingertips to out to the floor, side of the floor, of the mat, the side of your body. And then when you're ready on your exhale, releasing the right hand, allowing the right head to come back, the head to come back up to neutral. The right hand comes onto the floor, pressing the fingertips spread nice and wide apart, pressing into the side of the right, the floor next to the right hip, and then reaching the left hand up into the ear to grab a hold of the right ear. Gently, not pulling, but just allowing the head, the, allowing the left side of the neck to just reach over with gravity. So just using the biofeedback of the right, the left hand on the right ear. Switch turned around here. Just had a notification. Hold on just one second. And still breathing into that side, feeling the opening of the scalenes on the right shoulder. Taking one deep, more deep inhale in through the side of the neck and elongating the fingertips out on the right side. You might even spider the fingertips out a little bit further towards the corner of your mat to create some more space on the left side of the neck. And then gently releasing the left hand. The hand comes down towards the floor. The head comes back up towards neutral. And then inhaling the hands up above the head. We're going to gather a nice Qigong exercise and drawing this energy to the central line of the body. Inhale, reaching, gathering, drawing earth up towards heaven or sky energy, and then exhaling that through the central line of the body, the central channel of the body, the Shishunna Nadi, and then inhaling the hands up, gathering, really extending through the fingertips, and exhaling through the center of the body. And seeing if you can find a moving meditation. So switching directions, pressing the hands together, bringing them up through the central line, over the third eye, over the top of the crown, 
opening up like a fountain and exhaling, pushing the hands so the palms are facing towards the ground. Exhaling down. Really finding the dance in this movement. Inhaling the hands up through the center line. Inviting this coordination of breath and movement and then exhaling the arms up towards the side. And one more time, inhaling the hands in. Even can you draw the elbows together here as the hands come up? And then fountaining the hands out towards the side. You might even imagine that there's a viscosity or a thickness to the air as you're pushing the hands down towards the ground. Bring the hands back up through the central channel. And again, interlacing the fingertips so that the palms face up towards the sky, squeezing the side of the ears with the sides of the arms. Inhale, extending up, nice and tall through the spine. And then exhale, gently giving a nice pull uh, or allowing the right eyes to fall towards the right hip. Extending through the front of the elbows and pressing up towards the sky with the palms, finding that extension through the left side of the lungs, the left side of the intercostal muscles, the ribs, really inviting in that rhythmic breath that you recovered with that Qigong moving meditation, and then exhaling back to the center. You can bring the arms back down to give the shoulders a rest. And then on the inhale, inhaling the arms back up. On the exhale, extending the shoulders back just slightly. And you make sure that the ribs are tucked under so the ribs aren't splitting out. You're not creating a big U shape, but tucking the tailbone under, holding, knitting the ribs together. Inhaling and then exhaling to the left side. Breathing into the side body. If it's comfortable for you, you might look down towards your left hip. Inviting in the breath and the stillness. You might even find that the breath as you're inhaling moves in behind the side of the right shoulder blade and then exhaling the hands back towards the center. The arms come back down towards the side. Bringing the feet out in front, we're gonna grab a hold of the right ankle and then just giving it a nice gentle twist. You could even place, um, at a side angle so you can see here, you could even place your uh, left foot so that the uh, the right foot so that the shin is over the opposite shin or wherever you can grab a hold of the ankle and we're just going to give little ankle twists here. So if it's comfortable for you, you could even grab a hold of the toes by interlacing the fingertips between the toes. This is so good for all uh, if you have plantar fasciitis, if you have any type of um, foot or ankle problems or have any tendencies to um, have repetitive straining or, um, you know, any type of foot or ankle problems, really making sure that you warm up the ankles and the feet daily is so, so good for the feet. So moving in one direction, keeping with a nice inhalation and exhalation, nice and tall through the spine here. Coming back through that extension. And then switching directions if you haven't already. And opening up the synovial fluid in the ankle, as well as this helps bring lymph back up the legs and back up towards the heart. So if you have any type of swelling in the ankles, that kind of thing, this is really, really good for opening up 
the ankles and the ankle joints. And then just releasing that, you can even give the foot a nice push back with the fingertips between the toes and then pointing the toe and you can hold the foot up and give it a nice shake out. Exhale, releasing that down and then grabbing a hold underneath the left thigh, bending the left knee and placing the left shin over the right shin or over the left thigh. Again, grabbing with the right hand, fingertips spread nice and wide apart. In yoga, we're always thinking about really extending through the joints and extending, creating spaciousness in the body with the breath. So the same thing stands, especially for the hands and the feet. So this is a really great opportunity to open up the hands and open up the foot at the same time. So really interconnecting the joints between the joints of the hand and the joint of the foot and giving a nice circle in one direction, inhaling and exhaling nice and tall through the spine. And you're taking about 10 circles in one direction in the clockwise direction in a counterclockwise direction. And if you have any tightness in your thighs, even right now I have my left uh, shin over my right thigh. This is also at the same time massaging on the thigh, massaging um, on the hamstrings, and uh, actually in the quad. And switching direction if you haven't already. Keeping with that nice inhalation and exhalation. Noticing what's happening with the breath. And if there's any stuckness or stiffness, just notice where the mind goes. Does it go to judging or does it go to a story? And can you use the breath to come back to the present moment? Coming back to this gift of the now. And then just releasing that. Uh, extending the left leg forward, grabbing a hold underneath the left thigh, and then just giving the left foot a shake out. And nice and form, firm, releasing the legs down. I'm gonna practice uh, one of my favorite exercises that is known as churning the butter. Um, or you can do it with your legs just slightly apart if that's comfortable for you. It doesn't have to be a nice wide legged. It could just be whatever um, comfortable hip widths apart um, or if it's more comfortable for you. The harder, basically, the, it becomes harder the closer the legs are together. So just inviting the legs to be nice and wide. So exhaling, you're going to interlace the fingers together nice and long and strong through the arms. Inhale, rotate the shoulders up and down and back. And you'll exhale forward over the left foot, over the center, you're exhaling, and then using the abs to inhale and come back up, bringing the arms, bending the elbows close towards the body, and then even maybe leaning back up to a 45 degrees angle, leaning back. And then exhaling the arms out in front, over the front of the toes, you can exhale out the mouth here to really increase um, the release of tension in the body and stress. Exhaling forward. Any stuck prana, stuck energy in the body and inhaling, winding back. Exhaling forward and inhaling back. We're going to do 10 in each stretch and exhaling forward inhaling back, really using the strength of the arms. So even imagine as you exhale forward that you have a nice um, stick that you would be stirring. Imagine you have this big vat of stew and it's really, really, really um, a thick stew. So you've got to really use the strength of the breath to help propel as you bring the arms back. So extending as you come forward, Inhaling and bringing the arms back with strength, even using the strength of the arms, almost like a push up as you're inhaling and pushing, pulling the arms back towards you. And one more time, exhaling forward, inhaling back. You might even find that you like to go a little bit faster in one direction. 
it's actually a part of the slower that you go. And then coming back to stillness, checking in with the body, checking in with the breath. Checking in with the lower back, see how it's doing. And you can even keep a low, a bend in the lower knees if that's important for you. Um, also, if this is a lot, way too much for your back, you can just come back into the Sukhasana position with the legs folded in front of the other to come around and do the circling. But I suggest trying to do it with the legs out if it's possible and comfortable for you. But that's just a note for anyone with lower back issues. So again, Interlacing the fingers, we're gonna switch directions here and coming around in the other direction, extending this time over the right foot first, coming around on the exhale, over the left foot, inhaling back, exhaling, then using the arms to propel around the spine. Stirring in some joy into your pot. Coming back, perhaps creating an intention for yourself as you're coming around, as you're creating this movement meditation today. What is a quality that you would like to bring into your life, into your day, into this moment? So even just thinking, coming back to an intention, a positive affirmation for yourself, I am moving perhaps even or I am joy and using this to create movement and intention so often especially if emotions get stuck in the body it's very easy to come into a state where then we might even get frozen and not really feel like moving that much so using this meditation this moving meditation as a way to get the breath and the body, the somatic senses, getting everything moving so that things aren't stuck. And one more, exhale forward and bending the elbows back. Exhaling forward and bending the elbows back. Beautiful, coming back to stillness, bringing the legs so that they are um, in line one with the other and moving the flesh out from the sit bones. We're going to bring the knees up, bending the knees, and then walking the right foot up if that's comfortable for you, and the right and the hands out parallel with the leg. We're going to take three breaths here, inhaling, pulling up on the pelvic floor. You might even squeeze the knees together here as extending through the heel, extending through the fingertips. Reaching forward, rotating the shoulders up and down and back. And one more breath here. Exhaling, bringing that foot down, the right heel down into the ground. You can squeeze, grab, wrapping the uh, elbows around the knees, grabbing a hold of each elbows, and just exhaling the chin down towards the chest here. Releasing through the back of the neck again. Breathing into the back of the heart. Noticing where you might have created more spaciousness in the body, in the mental plane. And exhaling the head back up. Bringing the arms out to parallel again, and again, bending, pressing into the right heel, lifting the left foot up to parallel. So the knees are pressing together, knitting the knees together, and extending through the left heel, pulling up on the pelvic floor, rotating the shoulders up and down and back, breathing into the center of the belly, squeezing the shoulder blades together, finding spaciousness. And if you get a little shake here, this is a good sign. It means that you have energy moving through the body. You're really waking up any stuckness. And one more inhale here. Exhale, bring the leg back down to meet the left. 
and then wrapping both elbows around the knees, grabbing a hold of the elbows as the inner creases pull in to the knees. You might press the knees together here. Bring the chin down towards the chest. Coming back to that three or four count breath if that was comfortable for you. Inhaling in through the nose here. And exhaling out the nose. Using this visualization of the breath and the count of the breath to give the monkey mind something to do. The mind that likes to jump around from task to task or thought to thought. We can redirect it with our breath and with focus. Breathing into the back of the body. Maybe even the chin is coming down towards the chest and the forehead might even be coming down towards the knees. Really elongating behind the, the neck, the cervical spine that's behind the heart. And then exhaling gently, the chin and chest back up. Rotating the shoulders up and down and back. And then this time we're gonna press into the sides. Uh, the hands go, so the fingertips are facing forward towards the feet. Rotating the shoulders up, down and back. And we're going to lift both feet up into the air at a 45 degree angle. Leaning back at 45 degree angle, you can press the knees together. And if it's comfortable for you here, we're just gonna take three breaths, inhaling the belly back towards the spine. You might practice lifting one hand up towards the sky, the other hand up towards the sky, inhaling and exhaling here. Pressing the knees together, pressing the toes into an imaginary wall. On the inhale, really allowing the breath to fill up behind the heart. And on the exhale, allowing the belly to come back towards the spine. You're doing so beautifully strong here, inhaling and exhaling, releasing the hands back down if they're not already down, releasing the feet down, and then coming back onto your elbows here. For a we're going to come into a uh, fish pose. So extending the legs forward, the heels coming forward here. You are going to uh, place the fingertips so that they are, the hands are facing down underneath the lower back. So both hands come, uh, you can press them into the floor. The hands are, uh, pressing towards each other, but underneath the lower back. So the buttocks are sitting on the, the hands and the elbows come back towards together and making the foot one long leg. So uh, the feet, one long leg, extending the feet, pressing the feet together and then inhaling up in the chest. As we inhale the chest up, breathing into the front of the chest and the neck, if it's comfortable for you, you might even come all the way back so that the head is leaning, the top of the head is leaning on the floor here. And then the hands are gently walking down almost towards the back of the thighs. So using the weight of the body to stabilize the hands, the chin coming up towards the sky, the chin parallel with the ceiling. Taking one more breath here, inhaling into the front of the heart, using this moving meditation of the breath, even in the stillness. And on the exhale, releasing the hands out from underneath, the chin comes back towards the chest, and then placing the back of the hands on the floor, the feet come hip width distance apart. And just in a comfortable resting Shavasana pose or corpse pose here, just feeling that release and seeing how quickly can you relax and let go. How quickly can you come back to the breath? How quickly can you come back even to your affirmation? 
releasing the story of the trial, but coming back to the present moment or the challenge. And I invite you to uh, bring your right knee up, grabbing a hold of bending the right knee, grabbing a hold underneath the right shin. You might grab a hold underneath the left thigh. Taking, rotating through the hip in one direction and then switch in the other direction. Inhaling the right leg up, grabbing a hold of the back of the leg and then gently walking the hands up the leg if that's comfortable for you. Then bending the right knee and placing the leg back down. Bending the left knee, grabbing hold underneath. So we're counter, this is a counter balance or counter position for the back bend we took. Now we're giving the lower back a nice stretch and a nice release from the counter of the fish pose here. So grabbing hold of the back of the leg and on the exhale, extending the leg up towards the ceiling, imagining that the heel is pressing into the ceiling with a micro bend in the left knee here. You might even walk the head up, the chin towards the chest and walking the hands up the back of the thigh of the leg and then also keeping the right leg active on the floor. Pressing that right foot into the floor as the left foot is also active. That nice openness recreated through the toes, coming back to spreading those toes nice and wide and far apart. Releasing the head back down, releasing the chin towards the chest and releasing the left leg onto the floor. We're gonna come over, roll over onto your front side here and coming up onto all fours into our cat-cow position. So with the feet hip width distance apart, inhaling the chin and the chest up towards the sky. Exhaling the chin down towards the floor. And we'll do two at about 10 of these nice and at your own pace, but I invite you to really use the inhalation and the exhale to stir up some energy and some heat in the body really pumping, using the pump of the tailbone towards the top of the head. Inhale up, exhale back. Finding that relationship between the top of the head, the top of the tailbone, and the bottom of the tailbone. Bringing some heat and warmth into the body and tucking the tailbone under, tucking the toes under, and coming up into a downward dog position. So you can even walk out the knees, the feet are hip width distance apart here, the arms are as wide as the mat, or as wide as your shoulders. You can bend the knees here, just walking out your dog here, bending the right foot, extending into the left heel, bending the left heel, extending into the right, arch of the foot and coming back to this three count breath here breathing into the back of the heart as the heels are pressing into the ground micro bend in the knees feeling the inner thighs drawing in towards one another allowing the breath to settle into the body Taking one more round of breath here, one more inhalation and exhalation. Beautiful. And then pressing forward into a plank position. If this is too much for you to come forward into a plank, you can bring your knees down to the ground here. And then coming, pressing back into child's pose, tucking the toes under, and then pressing up to downward dog. 
So we're going to just do a moving vinyasa here, a moving flow. So inhaling forward to plank or to your knees. Exhaling back, bending the knees. Tailbone comes up towards the sky. Exhale, extending the legs back to downward dog. Inhale, coming forward to plank. Exhale, bending the knees. The thighs come up towards the belly with the knees bent. Exhaling back to downward dog. And one more time, inhale forward here. Exhale back. Inhale, downward dog. Exhale, plank. One more time. Exhale, bend knees. Inhale back. Exhale forward. And then knees come down to the ground. Feet come together, knees as wide as your mat, and then coming down into a child's pose, releasing and letting that go. Seeing how quickly can you come to relaxation. Coming back to the breath. You did a beautiful job. Just noticing how you can let go of the moment before and come back to this present moment. And using the sensation of the body, the forehead on the floor, the knees spread wide apart. In the invitation of the breath, coming deeper into the lungs. Where can you find spaciousness? and stillness to let go in this pose. Inviting in the next new moment. On the exhale, releasing. And on the inhale, coming back up to your downward dog. So bending your knees, Extending, releasing the head and the neck. You can shake the head and the neck here. Yes, gently. Yes, please. No, thank you. To make sure the head is nice and loose and free. And on your next inhale, you can step, walk, or jump. I like to walk the right foot in front of the left. Bending the right foot in front of the left. Heel toeing up to your forward fold and placing all of your weight as you grab a hold of both elbows, releasing the head down, bending the knees here so you're really relaxing and releasing, resting on the front of the thighs. Beautiful. Giving the biofeedback of the breath. And see if you can extend your weight forward as you're really grabbing into the heels. Can you extend the weight forward so it's almost like the head would come tipping forward. The weight of your 15, 20 pound head would draw you forward. But you're so grounded in your sit bones and you're so grounded in your trunk. So using that same grounding sensation to invite on your next inhalation, a tuck of the tailbone, releasing the hands. You can even shake the hands back and forth as you're slowly rolling up to standing, letting the head and the neck be the last thing that comes up. So rotating the shoulders up and down and back on the exhale, opening up the palms towards the front of your mat, the front of where you're standing, inhaling your chin and your chest up towards the sky. Bringing the hands together in front of the heart into Anjali Mudra and standing in your mountain pose. And noticing the quality of your mind. Are you feeling a little more still than you did when you first started? If the mind begins to wander, bringing it back through this meditation, whereas we move to extend into our moving meditation. So inhaling the arms up, reaching up and gathering, exhale, Extending forward, diving forward with eagle arms into a flat back, forward fold. Inhale, you can draw the energy up from the floor, from the ground, all the way up the legs, drawing the legs, the hands up above the knees, inhaling it to flat back. 
And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale as you bend the arms and the legs. Extending the arms back up in eagle pose, gathering that energy in this nice slow moving meditation, bringing the hands back through the center of the heart. Grounding into the feet. Inhale, reaching up, gathering, looking up towards the fingertips. Exhale as you ground into the feet, extending forward, bending at, hinging at the hips. Exhaling forward, the belly comes onto the thigh. Inhale, drawing that energy up the front of the thighs. Coming up into your flat back, nice and long through the sides of the necks and the ear. Exhaling forward. And inhale, coming all the way up, grounding through the feet, extending through the fingertips, reaching and gathering that strength back to the heart. Beautiful. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, extending forward. Nice and slow and steady. Bending the knees here, coming up on the flat back. Energizing up through the front of the legs, coming up into a flat back position, tabletop, exhaling forward. This time we're gonna bring the hands onto the floor and then bringing the right foot back and allowing the right knee to come on the ground. Inhaling up into your fingertips. If it's comfortable for you, make sure you're nice and wide through the front of your knee and your thigh. If this is too much on your knee, I realize I'm actually on a rug here. So you can uh, roll your, rotate your mat under, or even if you have a blanket, a blanket or a pillow or something, you want to step underneath the knee. So you have um, a nice support underneath the knee here. So notice here, you would be extending uh, a little bit too much into the lower back, especially if you have lower back issues. So really using the pelvic floor to knit the legs together nice and strong and you can inhale the arms up if that's comfortable for you. Interlacing the fingers as we did before, the palms up towards the sky, inhaling up. We're taking a next stretch here through the right side, right hands come over towards the right hip, pressing into the front of the left heel, coming back to the center and exhaling, extending, looking down towards the left side of the hip, breathing into the right side of the body, inhaling back up to center, and on the exhale, releasing the hands down, and coming back into a runner's lunge here, allowing the toes to come back. Nice and wide through, if this is too much for your hip, you can also just extend the left heel over just an inch or two, if it's comfortable, allowing the front body to fall forward and then coming back up into that runner's lunge. The hands frame the right foot. The left foot comes back to meet the right. The knees come down. And we're gonna come back to that extension that we did before. So as if you're coming back in a child's pose, pushing back, extending back into downward dog, coming forward into plank. Exhale, pushing back, extending the legs back down to downward dog. Beautiful. And then walking the right foot in front of the left, in front of the right, in front of the left till you get to the top of your front of your mat. Exhale, just releasing over the legs. Inhale, coming up to flat back. Exhale, bending forward. Inhale, gathering through the heels. Nice and grounded through the legs as you rise up with your eagle arms, inhaling, exhaling through the center line of the body into Anjali Mudra, back to mountain pose. And take three nice breaths here. In and out through the nose. Noticing how you feel in this movement meditation is the breath begins to ground. And then inhaling up, exhaling forward, sweeping forward, inhale, drawing that energy up the front side of the body to flat back, exhale, 
extending into forward fold. This time bringing the left leg back. The right hand frames the right foot. The left knee comes onto the ground. And again, if it's comfortable for you, bringing the hands up onto the thigh. You can stay here, really knitting the belly back towards the spine, knitting the ribs back towards the spine. And if you'd like, inhaling the arms up here, interlacing the fingers, the palms come up towards the sky here. Taking a nice bend over towards the left side first. Looking down towards the left side of the hip, really pressing into that right heel is gonna create stabilization here, knitting through the center of the belly. And then exhale, lifting up on the pelvic floor is gonna create more stabilization through your core. Looking back towards your right hip. Inhaling back up to center. And then exhaling the arms out towards the side. Coming back into your runner's lunge here. The left toes lift off, of the right toes lift off of the floor. That heel, gentle, a gentle bend in the back of the left, the right knee also helps as well. Ooh, bend out. Uh, breathing into the back of the hamstring. Have to remind myself I'm teaching class, not just taking it. <laughs> and then breathing into the back of the hips and extending forward, inviting the right leg to come back to the left into this parallel. Exhale, you can come back into your child's pose and stay there for a breath if you like. Or if this is comfortable for you, bending back into a downward dog, knitting the thighs together, uh, noticing actually the inward rotation of the thighs. And then exhale, pressing forward into your plank, bending the knees. The knees might come down towards the ground or stay on the ground. And then the top of the body pushes back into your downward dog. And one more time, inhale forward. Exhale, pushing back. Extending into downward dog on the exhale. That long exhalation. So that retention of the exhalation like we started in the beginning. Inhale forward. Exhale back. And then keeping the exhale out as you extend the heels back down towards the ground into downward dog. One more time. Beautiful, nice and strong here. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Heels come back towards the ground, downward dog. Beautiful. And coming down onto your knees into child's pose. If you're feeling like you want to keep going, you can stay in a plank there. Wow. Or stay in a downward dog. Releasing the breath. Breathing into the side body. Breathing under the armpits. And coming back to that intention, that I am phrase. So with the movement meditation, perhaps you would come back to the phrase, I am moving. And you might notice, well, am I moving as you're sitting here with a head against the floor? But you'll notice even in stillness, the breath is always moving. So often with this idea of hustle or grind, you know, you always got to be moving, you always got to be grinding, you always got to be doing something. It can be really um, hard for the brain to find the time to slow down, to take a break. But even when you give yourself that opportunity to be still, if you are an overachiever, you might find that you find some uh, some balance in knowing that even as you're being still, the body is still moving, the breath is still moving, the heart's still moving. Just on a meta, meta level, a very small or micro level. And then coming back up, beautiful. 
Coming back to your downward dog. Step walking or jumping back to the front of your mat and extending forward in your forward fold. Inhaling up the front back, drawing that energy up the front of the legs. Exhaling forward. Inhale and gather the energy back up to the heart in Tadasana or Mountain Pose. Extending the arms towards the front of where you're standing, the palms forward, rotating the shoulders up and down and back. Taking one inhale, action and exhalation with the eyes closed. Noticing any change in heat in the body, any tingling or energetic sensations in the body, maybe even a change in the quality of light as your eyes are closed. And then coming back to your breath and opening your eyes. We're going to take one more exercise that I love called the Breath of Joy, which is just a beautiful moving meditation um, that is so fantastic for if you're feeling tired, if you're just feeling like, oh, i got to get, get some energy moving in my body. I just really need, you know, to, when you want to get up and go, but you feel like you've got up and go, when? So anyways, we're going to inhale the arms up. And as if we're conducting an orchestra, exhale. So inhale out to the arms towards the side. Exhale together. Uh, this is it, okay. Inhale the arms out. Inhale together. And then exhale forward. And all the way back up. So you're gonna take two small sniffs through the nose. So it's inhale, inhale. As if you're conducting an orchestra, exhale forward and up. Inhale, inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth, and back up. Inhale, short sniff through the nose, inhale, exhale out the mouth, sweep forward and up. So we're gonna do this at a rhythm together 10 times. So inhale. It's great if you really exhale through the mouth on the forward. Conducting more joy into the life through the breath. Crisscrossing the arms in the front even. Really letting the body fall forward. Sweep forward. Three. Two, one. Placing the hands in front of the heart. Closing the eyes. Feeling that grounding, this energetic brilliance, this aliveness that you have in your body. Coming back to the natural breath. Feeling the heart beating. Feeling this resonance that we've created through this moving meditation today. So thank you so much for joining. Placing the hands in front of the heart for right in front of the third eye for a right thought, in front of the mouth for right heart-centered speech and in front of the heart for right heart-centered action. Giving thanks to yourself for showing up today. Giving thanks to the ancestors for bringing you to this place of bringing in this healing into your body. Uh, please come back and join us live on Tuesdays at 8 a.m. for the energizing practice and on Thursdays at 5 p.m for the more restorative rest practice. Thank you so much. I'm Afia Yana.